Hello everybody, this is just a quick guide on how to install the Formula Renault launch limit indicator and the LMP1 battery off status indicators on Meeksters Sim Hub iRacing dashboard pack. So once you've downloaded my pack and unzipped it, you'll find it looks like this. You will then need to go into the NCAP script folder, go into iRacing controls, do not replace this file. And at the end of each one, so you've got LMP1 boost off and iRacing Formula Renault launch limit you'll find the input status joystick plugin for each button control. These are the buttons I use, but you can just replace them with whichever buttons you want to use. So to work out which ones you need, if you go into SimHub, go into, there's two ways, go into controls and events, select new mapping, click on the source filter and press the button that you want to do and it will show up. Like so, so then you just copy that and put it in the NK, NCALC script file. Uh, but just make sure you replace everything after the joystick.plugin. The other way of doing it is going into available properties. Type in uh, a little bit towards whatever wheel or button box you're using up top to sort of to filter and then press the button again. It'll bring up a new button you can then right click copy name and paste it if you do it this way you can paste everything within the brackets like so once that's done save it then open up then oh sorry before you do that then copy that file so copy the NCAP script folder and the dash templates folder, that's if you haven't already installed them, into the SimHub root folder. Into here, you'll see they're in this NCAP script folder. It will, it will overwrite them in there. One thing to note, once you've done it once, you don't need to do it anymore. Um, so don't update the NCAP script folder with every update I release. Um, what you will need to do is if I release any more new NCAP script files, just copy that file itself across into that folder. To test, uh, what you should do is if you've done it right, if you go into the available properties and type in launch, it should show up as zero, and the same with LMP1. It should show up as zero. Um, if it comes up saying null or anything like that, then you've probably got it set wrong. Um, you can also test it by running the cars and checking them in the cell, check them yourselves in game. That's probably the best full test to do. Thank you very much. Any questions, make sure you ask on the forum. Thank you.